Welcome back to the channel. Today in this session, we are going to discuss policies in Azure API management. Policies in API management are the powerful capabilities of the system that allows the publishers to change the behavior of the API through the configuration. You can apply the policies on the API management to change the behavior of incoming request or outgoing response of the API request call. Policy configurations in API management is just simple XML document which contains sequence of XML tags which are executed in a particular sequence. As it is highlighted in this particular document, we have four different sections highlighted in different colors like we have sections for inbound, out, backend, outbound and on error. Inbound as the name suggests manages the incoming request so any policies which you apply on the incoming request you should be configuring in this inbound tag. Similarly any policies which you want to apply on the backend request which is going to the backend you should apply on the backend tag and any relevant policies applicable on the res outcoming response should be applicable on the outbound tag. Let's now understand how the policies execution works in API management. So the policies are managed through the gateway in which any request comes to the gateway and then based on the policy configuration gateway sends the request to the various section. For example, let's say if you have request received, request will come to the gateway here in this section and then request will be forwarded to the inbound policy for the execution of any configured inbound policies and then it goes to the backend section to execute any backend policies and similarly once a response comes back from the server it executes the backend policies and if there are any errors between any of these then rather than going to the next level it will go directly onto the error section for example if uh, let's say if a request comes and it goes to the inbound section and while executing the inbound section it throws an error then the on error policy will be executed and the response will be sent directly from there rather than going back to the backend server. Let's now jump into the Azure portal and see how do you configure the API management policies. I'm into the Azure portal where we have our API management. Now I'll go to the APIs. Policies in API management can be defined at the various level. For example, you can define the policies at the API level. You can define the policies at the operations within the API level. You can define the policies at the product level as well, or you can define a policy at the global level. Let's add a policy. You can add a policy from either of these sections. If I open the policy editor by clicking here on this particular icon, you'll see the default tags of the policies which is empty at the moment. And the tags or policy XML tags are arranged in a particular sequence as it is going to be executed in this particular order only. Now if you would like to add a particular policy you can add it from here let's add a very simplistic policies which is a rate limit policy so we are going to add a policy or rate limit policy before you add a policy make sure you are you have the cursor at the right section so i have my cursor on the inbound section i'm going to click on the rate limit policy and you can see that you got the template for this particular rate limit policies. So I'll specify the number of calls which is 3, renewal period in seconds which would be let's say 40 seconds and now if you wish to apply this rate limit policies on a specific APIs or a specific operation you can do that as well. So we are not going to do that. Let's include exclude this particular section and save this as is. Once you come back you can see that you have got the policy configured here. Now let's test 
one of the operations within the API just to test our rate limit policies. So I'm going to provide the value to the operation. Let's test now. And fourth time I got the error as it was expected because our rate limit policies suggest that we should not have three subsequent call within the 40 seconds of duration and that's how the error message is given as for that. So this is how you can use a very simplistic policy. Now let's look at some of the more advanced policies which we can apply it here. Here in this now we will add a condition based policy here in this custom advanced policy what we are doing we are setting a global setting a variable called mobile if a request header has user agent dash ipad or iphone then it will set the value as a true if not then it will set the value as a false in the request uri let's test the operation now i got the response and now from the tracing you can see that the policies is executed it has set the value as in false and the backend URI now has got the URI query parameter as a mobile equal to false which is going to send to the backend URI this is how you can test the advanced policies in the configurations now let's test one of the outbound policy policies considering a scenario I have a blank API which is going to be used by my front-end developers who is working on my front-end application or web portal a web UI so I'll click let's say login I choose v1 and then create a backend API here I'll create an operation called login in user login here I'll save it as is now I have got the blank API I can use now I can use the backend policy to send the empty response so here I'm returning a response 200 with this particular hard-coded response type so I can say if this is the if this particular method is being called this is what my response is going to be so I'm applying the policy on the API level but in actual fact you might want to apply this policy on a operation specific level so that you on a specific operation type you get this specific response now let's test this as you can see we are getting the backend response with the help of the policy so now this enables my front-end team to continue the work without having the way to complete the actual API development. Isn't this useful? There are a number of different policy types are available which you can use where you can manage the life cycle of your incoming request and response type of your API call. I hope this was helpful to learn how do we configure the policies in API management. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.